story is the story of Jesus being born at Christmas time. That's my first favorite story. But my second favorite story is all about me. <laughs> Man, funny. All right, who can laugh like Santa Claus? Count of three. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, you gotta do better than that. <laughs> oh, you gotta do better than that. <laughs> All right, let's make it different. Let's do hee hee. Hee 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 hee. Hee hee hee. Okay, let's make a noise like a reindeer. Oh, you don't know what noise they make, do you? Okay, reindeer aren't very smart, so here's the noise they make. Duh. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Duh. Now you can speak reindeer. Duh. Are you ready? Here we go. This story was written by a daddy for his three daughters. No, it's a, a daddy like your daddy. He would sit down and write a story for he had three daughters. And it was just before Christmas a long time ago. And he sat down and he wrote the story. And then he told him the story. And then it got to be real popular after a while. And one of the daughters got older and she got it out and got it published for people. And it's a real beautiful story. And I've never seen this book before, so it might have different pictures. But the story goes a lot like this. It starts out by saying, it was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that... Oh, that's me too! In hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. Ready? Oh. The children were snuggled, all snug in the, or nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums, that's candy, visions of candy danced in their heads. Oh, I turned two pages. And Mama in her kerchief, and me in my cap. You see, people used to wear stuff like this when they went to sleep to keep their heads warm. And had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, threw up the sash. This guy's excited, isn't he? The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and nine tiny reindeer, we can't forget Rudolph, with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it had to be St. Nick. Oh, 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 this is an exciting story. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, not Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, go Rudolph to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, they mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas, <laughs> too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each tiny book. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. Down the chimney. This is all about me. This is my best part. Are you ready? He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished and covered with soot. A bundle of toys he had slung on his back, he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. <laughs> his eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. 
His droll little mouth was curled up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he had held tight in his teeth, the smoke that encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a... Who knows the next line? He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a <laughs> bowl full of jelly. Oh my goodness, that's not very flattering. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye, a twist of his head, soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down from a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Let's say that part all together. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Wow. Yes, give him a hand. Yes. He's a star. He's a rock star. All right. So we've had some stories and we've had some questions. Have you all made some cracks? Did you all have pancakes? Did you all? Yes, Kate.